Welcome back to Newton's Bench. Today we're talking about lab number 10, the simple pendulum. Now the simple pendulum, if we don't swing it too far, only about 10 to 15 degrees tops, the simple pendulum is a fairly straightforward equation. Now, what these variables are, length is the size of the pendulum in meters, and again, you're going to measure the size. You measure to the center of mass for this configuration, which is gonna be a little bit longer. I mean, it's not just this part, but probably closer to the center of the uh, ring to the top of where it goes into the, the swinging arm. G, we're trying to confirm G. We don't, we're not gonna assume it's 9.8. We're trying to confirm that because T is the period in seconds. So how do we do that? Well, we have in our kit, of course, a stopwatch. So I pull this back and I swing in time, a period which is once over and once back, a tick and a talk together, if you like. And I time that and let it go for 10 iterations and then divide by 10 to get the period in seconds. So once you know the period in seconds, and you have the length of the period, uh, the length of the pendulum, you can solve for G g being the acceleration due to gravity. You don't want to do it too much more than 10 because you do have uh, air friction and air uh, currents and uh, just general friction that is going to slow it down over time. We're not talking about damping. We're not worrying about damping. We're just using this simple pendulum equation. Once you get to T, after measuring 10 tick-tocks together, you can solve this equation for g and get an acceleration due to gravity, which should be close to 9.81 meters per second squared. Again, it depends on how carefully you measure the time and how carefully you measure the length. And that's lab number 10.